What happened in Poland affected the pace of change in the other communist satellite states. The most dramatic breakthrough was in East Germany, where the Berlin Wall was a symbol of the division between the capitalist West and the communist East. I saw the building of the Berlin Wall on the 13th of August 1961. I lived in the East but was on holiday in the West. I saw people jumping from windows in Bernau Street. These houses quickly became the border between East and West Berlin. School began again, and our history teacher told us that this wall was an anti-fascist protection wall. That's how it was described to us. And that contradicted what I had seen with my own eyes. Why were so many escaping from the East to the West? I just had to leave the history lesson. In the wake of the Polish experience, East Germans had been holding vigils to demand democratic freedoms since the mid-80s. In October 1989, the 40th anniversary of the German Democratic Republic, Mikhail Gorbachev visited its capital, Berlin. Instead of condemning the freedom protesters, he undermined the communist leader, Erich Honecker, saying those who delay will be punished by life itself. Within a week, Honecker was forced from office by a party aware that things had to change. The Eastern Bloc was seeing glasnost in action, and thousands of East Germans were already voting with their feet. Hungary, a more liberal regime, had opened its borders, and what had started as a trickle turned into a flood of East Germans making their way through to the West. In this new world, a Berlin Wall seemed ridiculous. I knew that Honecker had to go. I knew that two to three years before he was gotten rid of. At that time, he was so old that he didn't really know what he was doing to the country anymore. He'd lost his grip on reality. The economy had come to a standstill. People escaping into the West through Hungary was a big political problem for the East. It was an interesting time, but I didn't think that this would mean the end of East Germany. A few weeks after Gorbachev's visit to Berlin, the keystone to the Soviet Eastern Bloc came crashing down. Good evening. East Germany has agreed to do what the West has been demanding it should do for more than a generation. After opening up the Berlin Wall, the government has now announced it will hold democratic elections. That news came 24 hours after East Germans began to pour across the wall, which for so long had held them in. It means the Berlin Wall no longer serves the purpose for which it was built. Crowds rushed to Berlin's eight border crossing points. Around midnight, an officer in the Stasi border guards decided things were starting to get out of hand, and he opened his gate. As soon as word got out that that had happened, the others opened too. Within hours of the government's announcement, people started turning up at Checkpoint Charlie, the best-known crossing point to the west. At first they were told, go away, come back tomorrow, and bring all the right documents with you. But the crowds weren't satisfied with this, and they've learned that if they push hard enough, they can have their way. They pushed on into the guard posts, arguing, demanding, insistent, and suddenly the way west was opened. <laughs> Checkpoint Charlie was open, and they were through, called on by the delighted West Berliners waiting on the other side. Within a year, communist East Germany was reunited with West Germany. It was a radical but peaceful reshaping of the political map of Europe.